This is going to be a little exercise, uh, a fairly simple exercise for you to practice declaring some variables and doing some inputs, doing calculation, and displaying some results. Um, you can essentially use the same format that you see here on the screen. It's always a good idea, of course, to include a comment. Uh, you might want to put a comment at the top that includes your name. Um, and the reason why I'm not giving you any of this code is because it's very important for you to have lots of practice typing code, believe it or not. Uh, the more code you type, uh, you make mistakes, you learn from your mistakes. Uh, I've learned way more from my typing mistakes than uh, I've probably learned from reading the books. So essentially what I want you to do is I want you to uh, have two subs. The first one's going to convert the Fahrenheit to the Celsius temperature. So you'll probably want to declare a couple of variables here. Use the double data type as your variables. This allows fractional values, decimal point values. Input the ask the user for the Fahrenheit temperature. Input that and store it in a variable. And then using the uh, formula that you see here, you can uh, use that value, the user input, the Fahrenheit value, and you can convert that to the Celsius value. And finally, put a nice little display on the screen that says something like um, your uh, Fahrenheit temperature of 100 degrees is equal to X degrees Celsius. Um, the second one is just essentially a similar practice, but converting the Celsius to the Fahrenheit. And uh, you just go ahead and do pretty much the same thing. You probably copy and paste your code, would be my guess, and then just make whatever changes are appropriate. Um, but of course, this time you're going to input the Celsius, and you're going to convert that to the Fahrenheit. Of course, the formula for converting to Fahrenheit is slightly different. It's kind of the reverse of the prior one. Um, so go ahead and uh, finish that code, and then post that code under a week two page in your wiki so you'll add a week two link on your home page and on the week two page you'll maybe say temperature conversion code and you can do both of these of course in a single you know a single uh, workbook you don't need to uh, do two different workbooks and then just copy and paste both of these code blocks that you see here and put that up on your um, on your wiki page and uh, we should be good to go and I know that some of you are going to be tempted to, to kind of get fancy uh, uh, if you want to go ahead and get fancy with the if statement and ask the user whether they want to do Celsius or Fahrenheit conversion and then use an if and else that's fine I don't have a problem with that but if that sort of thing just sounds totally overwhelming to you any of you any of the students don't even think about it just do the code exactly the way you see it on the screen here. Thank you.